friends well uh i climbed in these freaking boots they're viberg and uh they call them the raven uh i, I gotta be honest uh, boy oh boy the, the only thing I, I i'm not sure if i'm gonna change yet is is that right I, I may throw a lug sole on it. I'm not sure. Depends on how much I end up with. They are beautiful. I mean, they, they really are. Uh, they, they fit me beautiful. I just can't even believe I got these. I saw a set of these at Viberg. Look at this, friends. Like, look. Shaklunk. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> excuse me. They're just... It's crazy. Here. Let me just... You know what I mean? Oh, boy, oh boy. All greased up. They just slunk in, they go. They're just. I, uh, I do the old fold over like this with the leather. That, I, it's just what I do. And, uh, I'm still in break in mode. So, that's why I like the leather laces. I'll probably rock them until they bust. Uh, you see, like that. Like I've, I've, I've really shanked them up there. And see how short the laces are, friends? You see how short these are, these suckers? Okay. That's it. Right short. And then... So I, I'm running them traditional on the tie. Just for now. I love these boots. Actually, love them. They, I've been, I like a square toe boot. I never used to many, many years ago. I, I didn't. I just tie them in a knot, and and that's it. I got no laces left over. I cut them to a to an, an exact height that I need. See, just right there, a couple four or five inches hanging down. That's it. Beautiful. I can't believe I wore these boots climbing yesterday for an hour and a half. Awesome video to come, friends. Old Bucking was up rigging some stuff out pretty good, so we got a good video <laughs> coming. An hour and a half in on the picks, too. Not hanging from a freaking saddle. I'm spitting. I'm so excited. I, do you know what I'm saying, friends? Like, you know, I, I'm snugging these suckers up. This is breaking. This is how you break a set in you every day. A little snugger if you can. Over here like this, sometimes I do that, depending on where I'm at, I'll, I'll go back and forth like that. Then I'll come here, whoop, miss the bottom one. You see, just like that. That's what I do. Okay, we're snug. Uh, there's little tricks you can do for if you lose your, um, if your tops come together. Uh, there's little tricks you can do for that. We can talk about that at a later date. Hogan called me, he needs a, a guy on the ground down the road on a job for the actually for the same guy I was climbing for yesterday. Uh, so these are fantastic. Fantastic. I, I'm just, I feel nothing right now. Nothing. This is why I like Viberg. They just work for me. They always have. Gosh, they're beautiful boots, friends. <laughs> Downtown cowboy logger. Gosh, those are dandy. Aren't they, friends? And here's my new work boot, Viberg work, work boots. Friends, I, I've got a call into uh, Trent and Heath to see if they would take on this job of resoling these and putting the lugs on them. Now, that's a set of Viberg boots right there. I'll show you the difference. Here's my, here's my other uh, brand I've been wearing, uh, the JK boots. You, you can just see... You see the flat toe? They've gone flat. Um, they're just a softer boot all the way around. Not as robust. Uh, we thought 
this might be a good idea, but it wasn't. Uh, uh, yeah. It, it, anyways, beautiful. Uh, JK makes a nice boot. Um, they're just they're they've always been a bit wide for me. I haven't I haven't been able to get over the wideness of them. That's but they've been wonderful. They are they they fit like crazy, friends. Like you wouldn't believe how they fit. They do have a good fitting system, but they they are just too wide. I'm just not used to the width. I've worn them for nine months, which isn't really that long. And I, I'm so happy I found a set. Look at look at the difference in width, friends. You, you know what I mean? Especially in the spurs, right in here in the stirrups. You know, they're they're just they're just a different setup, different construction. But JK did did very well on those. But uh I yeah, so back to Viberg, which I, I can't even believe. I can't believe I found these. I gotta go. Let me know what, what your favorite boots are and who your which boots you've tried and leave it in the comments, Fred. You see, tell me what boots you've been running. I mean, I buy five and six hundred dollar boots. That's just what I do. I don't I don't buy two or three hundred dollar boots. I don't. I, I haven't for probably twenty five years, close to it. I remember when I switched from a company called which were good. I'm just gonna stoke my fire before I go. Um they were called, somebody mentioned them in the, J.B. Goodhue, J.B. Goodhue, that's who it was. And they were lovely, but they just didn't last. They, they, they couldn't take it. So I, uh, they would fall apart and you'd be like, well, that, was, that didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> right? Okay. Hey. Gosh, you know, gosh. Darn it, is what I say. So this is, uh, morning, friends. Anyway, I just, Ganges called me down. He, he, he figured he could... Oh, yeah, she's funky. <laughs> he you thought he could fall good. us when he was here last time, but uh, he just he just called me. He didn't, he didn't you know, with a tree There's like... There's no one here. Huh? There's no one here. I didn't want to climb this by myself. No, he made a good call. Uh, he, he made a good call. Like, I mean, we're not... Even the homeowners aren't home. Usually I would climb something by myself. I wouldn't be too worried, but you can see how rotten this oh, is. Oh, no, this is not pretty. It's, uh, was. I'm going to get to where my feet are above the Arbutus. Yeah, it'd be nice for you to get on that outside, yeah. I don't want to that. Nip that. Nip that one little leader coming up. Don't worry about it. Uh, no, if I just cut this balsam limb off, it'll do the, do the same work. Okay. So it, it is very skanky, friends, quite quite honestly, and it's a balsam, so almost be nice to stand on that Arbutus, wouldn't it? I might. You know what? I'm going to take that thing at the source. They won't be able to see it. No, they won't. Actually, yeah, the, just the one growing straight up. Yeah, I'm going to take that. They won't even see that. Because you got to get comfy in there.
my wife had a stove delivered. Our stove died. It was quite old stove, but it was nice stove, but it died. Um, here's the top of my truck, if anybody's wondering. It looks real good. This truck is solid, friends, eh? It, it is. It's really solid. Look. It's good. Anyway, a big truck came up the driveway forward, like big five ton. Up they come. They come up all the time. Straight up. But w those big trucks, the corners are rounded. You know, they're rounded so that for <laughs> things can smoothly you know, hit something and go over and top and smooth, like, you know what I mean? Chamfer, I mean, like a chamfer for less of a better word. Well, they delivered everything fine. They came up straight up the driveway. And when they left, I said, well, guys, you know, you got a whole ton of room, just turn around up in the driveway there. And they said, no, we'll back out. And I said, well, guys that back out, take trees out. I'm, I just, I, I've been here for 20 some odd years now and that, that's what happened. So I'd appreciate it if you just turned around and, and then you can drive out and see what's, well, they didn't listen, and uh, unfortunately, they actually, um, can you see right there? <laughs> yeah, they hammered the tree. Okay, so here's our scenario. I'll give you a quick rundown of actually what happened. Um, I got my ladder in against the box. This is how hard they hammered this thing. And, and you know the, the, the worst thing about this whole thing, friends? Look at this. Look at, they drove it, like drove right. It's a big tree. That is a, probably a 50 year old cherry tree. Okay, and we love our driveway. I'm gonna try and save some of it. I'll see what I can do. But I mean, look at that. You, that's, that's a big truck and they slammed it. And here's the worst part, friends. They didn't, we heard it from the house. I'm not exaggerating to one bit. My wife and I looked at each other. We went, oh, there goes a branch. Because it's happened before here, but not like this. This was, this was bad. So if you boys are watching this, that was a sad move. You, you, you should have just come up and talked to us guys. Just, just say, hey Buck and you know, we broke a, we broke a branch and we think we should, we should deal with this on the lines here somehow. Can we? Would have been easier to get on your truck and do it because your truck's you know ten feet higher than mine. So anyway, not I'm not happy. I'll I'll be very honest with you. Not not happy at all. Uh, pretty pretty shabby move to be honest with you. So here we go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to cut that off uh, to get it off the hydro line before it loads up with snow and rips the line out. That's the plan. So I think I got my ladder up. You got to watch when you. When you cut weight off something like that, when you cut that weight off, friends, you, you what can happen is <laughs> the tree can jump up and, and the ladder slip off. So you gotta watch that stuff. So let's do this. Wonder if I could get maybe two, two, uh, like a time lapse going or something here, friends, at the same time, you know what I mean? What do you guys think? All right, here we go. See that right there? See how big this limb is right here? Look, I'll show you. Wait, let's get you back to normal here. See this? Look at it. It's a five, six inch limb right there. They snapped it right off. I heard it from the house, like a shotgun. And not only that, we're on the wires, friends. We're literally right on the wires. So I brought the ladder. Uh, I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna put you guys down on the ground there and and do this, I, I have to do it. It's, you know, so talk to you in a second.
over there. So if I, if I don't put this ladder up higher, this thing could slip right off the ladder. Friends, you got what I'm saying? I gotta put the ladder up higher. There, it's still in the ground. sketchy now I think I'm gonna have to pull it back friends you know what I mean this is a death wish right here total death wish unless I can get those lines because if I take them lines off let's see oh yeah it's laying on them lines hard right hard if I if I take them off them lines I'm going for a ride and I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. Yeah, that's not happening. But what I will do. we're kind of out of the bite here now I might be able to I just I don't like this at all friends at all I'm wondering how bad this is maybe I could just see Oh, 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 oh. 
got that to a point where you might be able to lower the ladder down maybe now. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, okay. So I think we're... Okay, I think we've done pretty good, especially with our new kicking boots on for good. It's kind of a shame, but we like our oversweeping driveway. Perfect timing. There's Nana right there. There she is. Nana's just coming home, coming for a visit. Hey, Ma. I'm just fixing this tree here. They when they delivered the stove, they... Oh! Oh, that's what you were talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah they... The nest down the road. Yeah, they got it pretty good. They ripped it right out of the ground. Oh, was it like a big truck? Yeah, a big five ton. So they tore the tree out. I told them to go down backwards, and they didn't. They didn't listen. And uh, we heard the crack from the house, Mom. Like a shotgun going Whoa, yeah, off, which yeah, was yeah. that limb right there. Yeah, that yeah, little yeah, short one yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I had to go up and get it off the line, so. Oh, bummer. Okay, let's go up. Up, friends. Ah, she does a fair bit for us, old Sylvia, actually. You got some flowers, eh? Yeah. Nice. Friends, no matter how small the job, you know what I mean? Like no house, no matter how small the job, right? Just blow the blow the freaking saws off because think think about this. Think if you did five small jobs in a row around your yard or anywhere and you just did kept <clears throat> excuse me kept not blowing your stuff off well you get pretty gummed up i just every time i use the power saw i just blow it off done and that way you can blow your beautiful <clears throat> blow your your boots off you can <laughs> Just a short video for you today, friends. I had to get that done. I'll throw that out in the burn pile and that'll be that. Be kind to one another, friends. 
work hard, be honest. And I already said be kind, but I'm going to say it again. Be kind. Be nice to one another. Help each other out. It's way easier when we're assisting one another. It's what they used to do in the old days. Just help one another. Help the neighbor. Help the guy. Instead of sitting there going, ah, it's good to be me. You know what I mean? Catch you on the next one.